So it is the last day of the Indianapolis Home Show. It's the 28th of January. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick recap of how things went. It was uh, sales were down a little bit compared to where they were last year. I don't know what that is. Um, I've kind of thought about some reasons why it has been down, but I really think the biggest reason is because see this little ductwork thing here. Um, it's a, a solar catcher for um, you put in your attics and things like that to bring in light. And I really think if I kind of walk away, you can kind of see how distracting that is and how much, um, you know, kind of visible, how big it is, I guess, per se. And you can kind of see how it kind of just comes right out to the edge. Um, so that that's kind of one of those things that I just kind of, I'm going to have to think about when I see that type of stuff because I could have maybe asked him to put it on the other side versus on this side, you know, like on his side of the booth versus my side of the booth. But uh, regardless, it, uh, it is what it is. We made some good friends this year uh, with Jeff and, uh, uh, yes, I forgot his name. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I thought I'd give you a couple quick uh, statistics here that I found out. The average person, um, they don't purchase until it's been like, you know, they've been here between one and three hours. Um, it's very interesting to see how they don't purchase right away. And so like when the show opens up at 10, the likelihood of us selling something right then and there is very, very unlikely. Um, one of the things that uh, we, we, so we want to start keeping track to see if those, those trends continue. Um, I will say that the, uh, the banners, uh, our banners, Definitely a good idea to put between Tony and I's booth um, at the indie show next year. I thought about it several times about actually putting up our banner in front of his. I really wished I would have done that earlier in the week. Um, I will say that we also moved our booth back. You can see how this, there's some space here between that booth, um, getting people off the way. On Saturdays, it was so busy, people could not gain access to our booth. So we actually moved that back quite a bit um, to be able to make that happen. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Um, that we, Because it was so busy. For about two or three hours the first Saturday, it was wall-to-wall -wall people. And even if people were interested in coming over, our booth went straight out to the aisleway. So there was no place for people to get away from you know the people and be able to come in and talk to us. After we changed that, the number of people that came up to us on Saturday and Sunday was, was significantly more. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take a, make up another thing that says it's $149 with no massages. So basically it's 50% off. And I really want to be able to highlight that it's 50% off if they buy one today. Um, and we'll go kind of also go with the $169 ones as well. Um, so we're going to have to think about that for the next show before we come back here. Um, and uh, let's see, we, we talked extensively. Tony and I did about not being here on the weekdays, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, and Thursday, coming down Friday morning and, uh, you know, just and only doing the weekends. So we're contemplating doing that because it's just really, really boring. Um, and we're just not really making a lot of sales. So um, one of the biggest, the number one question that everybody asked me is where are we from? Where are we from? Where are we from? So one of the things that we're going to do is modify that uh, sign in the front. So it says uh, Syracuse, Indiana with vinyl. And I don't know what uh, maybe possibly black lettering uh, where it you know, kind of stands out underneath there, underneath the couple's romance getaway. And we put Syracuse, Indiana. You can kind of see our banners that hang up there. Um, it's, uh, it definitely helps advertise that a little bit. Um, but regardless, when you walk down from this direction, I angled the booth so I would catch most of the people coming out of that way. That was kind of a bad idea. And uh, because if I come down this way, you can see how my booth, how if I'm walking away from our booth, and if I was walking toward it, how, how long before you can really see Couples Romance Getaway. I mean, it's pretty significant. Um, you gotta walk quite a ways up before you get to our booth and see it. And then you've got the ductwork. So you can kind of see, and just now, can I start to see that? But if it's wall-to-wall -wall people, there's a big difference. So, one of the other things that, uh, I mean, if you look at it from this side, you don't have to care. You can kind of see it from this way. If I come out of this, uh, the other pavilion here, 
can kind of crystal clear see the couple's romance getaway. You can actually almost just see the romance getaway. So, but I, I would notice, I would say probably over, over 60, 65% of the people coming out of this pavilion, they come out here and turn left instead of turning right, which is what I thought. So we're gonna have to change, the ring, change some things around uh, with Danny and Jeff. Uh, we do have our people uh, counter. This took us a little bit of work to get this all figured out this year. And then I basically have this people counter running over here to my side of the booth. You can kind of see there. So one of the things that we, uh, Tony and I talked about extensively is we really need to get more pictures of the place. So one of the things that we talked about, this used to be on the back. So I'm going to see if Trish can actually make, um, you know, get this so it looks better than how it does now. And uh, so it's nice and uh, uh, figure out if it's, we just cut it out um, and figure out a way to get that figure, uh, you know, taped up there and it looks nicer than that. Plus it'll hide all of my leads, um, whether or not I have a bunch of leads or not a bunch of leads. So do the same thing on this side. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What else did I have written down here? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that we talked about. Uh, so the number one question that I get asked, where are we located? Where are we located? Where are we located? So if I can figure out that question, I think putting that Syracuse, Indiana on it there, I think will really help. So people won't be thinking it's a timeshare at that point because, hey, it's in Indiana. So that is the, um, that's the update for the Indy 2018 show. And uh, that's all, folks.